Dan Torchman, America's Best Racing. Dan on the street at Whiskey Live, which is a massive whiskey convention in New York City. Horse racing and whiskey obviously go hand in hand. And I'm gonna go inside here and see what people know about horse racing. And hopefully they can teach me a little something about whiskey. Mint Julep. Yes. Oh, you can. We me? make them all the time. So we were bartenders people. at a, a bar in Rochester. We had a, a Kentucky Derby party. We wore nice hats like you're wearing. Perfect. And we made thousands. So we're asking people, do they know uh, what goes into a Mint Julep? Do you, I know. No, I don't know. You have no idea. She does. Also, the, bourbon. A good quality bourbon. Barrel bourbon. Who's here? Michters. Who's here? Sugar. You get your simple syrup going, which is sugar, of course. Then I smash my ice. But you don't use just crushed ice. Get some of that snow cone ice. Mint. You get some mint leaves. You get 12 to 15 mint leaves. I shake the mint and the other two ounces of Buffalo Trace with the sugar cubes, and then I strain it with the julep strainer into the glass of the crushed ice. If you owned a racehorse, what whiskey-related name would you give it? Maybe I would name my horse Julep. I'll have another. Hi, I'm Rye. I'd name it after our property, which is called Montrose. Honestly, I love the way it's called George Dickel or whatever. I think that's a hilarious name, so I would just name it that. You're going with George Dickel? Yeah. That's well, your final answer, George Dickel. Yeah, Dickel for sure. If you owned a racehorse and you could name it anything with, with whiskey in it, what would you call it? Sour Mash. All right, <laughs> that works. If you owned a racehorse and you could name it anything whiskey related, I already related. have it. Rye or die. That I like. That I like. Rye or die. Rye or die. 100%.